So today's how-to video is all about how to score and cut leather and there's so many different tools out there it can get a little bit overwhelming and I'm just going to briefly go through all the different tools that I use in class. So there's different types of leather that we're going to be cutting in this little demo. So we've got the veg tan leather which is the thicker one um, and then the chrome tan so I'm going to show you all the different tools that I use to cut those two types of leather. So what you're initially going to need is a ruler and it's really good to use a metal ruler because you're going to be using, using knives against it. If you had plastic, you might end up kind of chipping away at the plastic. So a nice metal ruler. And then to actually score onto the leather, you're going to be using an awl, which is a scratch awl. And this basically draws a line onto the leather. Alternatively, you could always use a biro, for example, but I usually prefer using the awl if you can. And then we've got different variants on tools depending on angles that you might be doing and the types of leather. So um, to begin with, we're gonna use, show you how to use the craft knife. So that's just a really basic craft knife you can get from most hardware shops. And it's got a really nice sharp blade on it. So make sure if you've had one in the garage for a while that you put a nice new blade on it. And then this is my absolute favorite one. It's the rotary cutter. Um, it's a 45 millimeter blade and they're just brilliant on the chrome tanned leather. They just glide through it really beautifully. So we'll show you that. Then um, it's always good to have a big pair of scissors because sometimes people don't always get on with those other tools. So a nice sharp pair of scissors is brilliant on the chrome tanned leather. And then of course a mini little version of that. And I'm also going to show you something called a strap cutter. So this is wonderful on the veg tan leather and it cuts strips of leather because you've got a little blade up inside there and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm wanting to cut a lovely straight line in this veg tan so that we've got a really crisp line to use the strap cutter from. Now this veg tan is about 2.8 to sort of 3 mils thick so it's really chunky and thick so you really need a really super sharp knife. Initially what we're going to do though is do the scoring so you've got your metal ruler you want to put loads of pressure on the ruler so that it doesn't wobble at all. Or if you've got sort of any clamps or weights, you could weight it down. So I'm using the awl to score a lovely definite line. And as I'm going, I shift my hand so that the ruler doesn't move. So you sort of use your hands in unison with each other. And hopefully then you've got a really good definite line that you're going to be following. So the next process is to grab your blade, your craft knife, put the ruler back onto that lovely line that you've just scored and make sure that you are dead on that line. And then similar theory, you want to put loads of pressure onto the ruler. And the most important thing when working with a blade and particularly when it's such thick leather is try not to angle the blade at all because sometimes naturally I think you want to do that in order to see what you're doing but what you end up with is a slight angle in the leather and we want to keep it as right angled as possible. So you're starting at the top and you're going to drag away from, um, sorry, towards you. So just keep that pressure, make sure your ruler is definitely on that score line. So we're almost through, so sometimes it does take a couple of goes. Just the tiny little sort of fragments and fibres are the things that sometimes are still connected. But try not to double cut. Make sure the blade goes back in that line that you just did. And then you end up with a lovely fresh line. So we're going to go through one of the most exciting tools, I think. It's called a strap cutter. And the brand um, type is Craft Tools, and that's actually a really good quality brand to look out for in general for most of your leather um, tools. So um, it's a little bit more expensive, I'd say, this one than some of the cheaper ones, but it's worth paying that little bit more because the quality is amazing. So we've got a few different adjustments here to sort of point out initially. So to begin with, I'm just going to talk about the blade. So the blade is right in there, and you can replace them you have to unscrew these little screws here, get your replacement blade. Um, you would have taken out the existing one, 
possibly it might have broken so you have to really be careful with all the little fragments and then where this wood is kind of slit that's where it kind of goes back into there and then you tighten it up make sure you retighten it and in terms of the depth of your leather this is a little adjustment here so we're using a sort of three mil thick so you can adjust it depending on the thickness of your leather but this is all set for our leather we're using today and then the other thing to note is all of these lovely adjustments. So this is to do with actually how thick or how wide your strap is that you're going to be cutting. So you've got some measurements down here that are in centimeters or inches. In order to adjust it, what you're gonna do is loosen off this clamp at the top. just rotate it round and then it actually moves around you see so you can then adjust it to whatever depth you would need for your strap so today we're going to be doing a two centimeter wide one so make sure you're dead on that two centimeter line retighten it and make sure it is really tight so you don't want that to be slipping at all when you're cutting your strap make sure everything's looking nice and rectangled and right angled and then what we're gonna be doing is the blade itself is in there. So we approach it from the top here. And this is the most important thing is you always have to work from a nice straight line in your leather. So be it you had a brand new skin, brand new hide, you'd probably want to do that process we showed you previously with the um, metal ruler and the craft knife. So you've got a lovely straight line to work from. And you're gonna feed it into the strap cutter as it goes in, this is the most kind of tricksy bit, is to kind of just get the beginning bit going. But be it if you've got a nice blade on there, it should just be really easy to pull. And here is the most important bit to kind of flag up that you're looking for. It's where you've got that lovely raw edge of the leather, it needs to be running right dead up against the handle of the strap cutter, so that that will give you a really even depth And just watch out, as you get to the end, sometimes it likes to have a little bit of a wobble. So just go a little bit slower at the end. Look at that, how easy was that? Next, we're gonna show you how to use the rotary cutter. So the best process is to place your pattern onto the leather. And we're doing the chrome tanned leather now. So it's a lot more supple and soft. And um, this pattern has got a combination of curves and also straights. So we're actually gonna use a combination of tools. So initially we're gonna score it on. So hold your pattern on and making sure as you're scoring, you really want to hold the pattern in that same area. So um, inevitably sometimes what happens with leather is it does stretch. So by holding it as you're scoring it, it tends to prevent it from stretching, which means that your pattern will be a really nice pristine shape. And then double check that you can really see that score line. And when you're happy, take the pattern off. And then again, we're gonna use the combination. So always with the metal ruler, and I recommend putting the ruler actually into the body of your panel. So if you were left-handed, you'd be approaching it from the other side, but I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna start over here. And what I'm gonna be doing is using the rotary cutter on the straights and scissors on the curves. So I'm gonna expose the blade. This is an Ulfa brand. Um, again, really good quality for their rotary cutters. And it's a 45 millimeter blade. So you expose the blade by pulling back the little bar here. So just push it down. And that then shows you, you've got that lovely depth of the blade that we're gonna to use to actually cut. So in terms of the side, this needs to be at the side of the ruler. So when you go approach down to the levee, make sure it's that side facing the ruler. And one of the most important things that I will sort of explain is that your power in your wrist, the most kind of like best way of doing it is actually pushing down on the blade. Try not to do this, because I've noticed in class people do that, and actually then there's not as much pressure on the blade area. So by keeping it vertically going down, you can push through and sometimes you can almost hear the kind of click of it hitting the um, self-healing mat underneath 
And the difference between doing the craft knife and the rotary is actually with rotaries, you push away from you. So always with a good amount of pressure on the ruler and obviously on the blade, you're gonna get that lovely fresh line that I just find so easy. And then we spin them round and every time try and spin it round so you're never cutting towards your body or at weird angles. You're always cutting away from your body so it's really nice and safe. And if for any reason it doesn't quite cut through, if you haven't put enough pressure on or something like that, then I would recommend just going back over it. So I'll show you as an example, if I don't press down as much, you might find it's kind of slightly cut the surface, but not all the way through. So I would actually recommend just use your scissor to just finish it off. Because sometimes if you go back over with the rotary, you will risk having a double cut or a feathery line. And really the most important thing when cutting leather is to just do it as accurately as possible. So I'm pushing down loads of power all at the same time. I'm then pushing away and you should just get really lovely fresh lines. So always remember to put your blade protector back up so it's nice and safe. And then what I'm gonna be doing with these little angles here is using the scissor. So the chrome tanned leather is absolutely fine to cut with scissors. And if any of you don't get on with the rotaries, then you know my opinion is the most important thing is to cut accurately. So if you prefer to use scissors throughout cutting all your bag, go for it. You know, the most important thing is cut really accurately. And all of this is a turned seamed bag as well. So you have to consider with the veg tan quite often, um, leather is used as the raw edge in leather. So you have to be really accurate. Whereas the chrome tanned, if you're doing a turned in seam, you have got, you know, one centimeter of the seam allowance will be hidden. So cut it as accurately as possible, but it's not quite as important as with the veg tan. And that's your lovely panel all cut.